Well, greetings to you. We've heard uh, a little bit uh, recently about two-tier policing uh, and uh, the London Times regard it as a myth. Uh, but of course, I think we all know better there are two different systems of policing depending on who is on the receiving end. So uh, Keir Starmer is now going around seeing chief constables talking to them about han how to handle so-called right-wing demonstrations. Uh, right-wing demonstrations is, of course, a euphemism, a euphemism for demonstrations by the indigenous population. Uh, that's right-wing. So if you're born here, an ordinary Joe, fed up with the way things are going, and you're demonstrating, you are extreme right-wing and can expect to be duffed up. Uh, and of course, if you're an ethnic minority, travellers or wherever the flotsam and jetsam of minorities are, you're going to be perfectly all right. Now, a whistleblower told me some of the uh, notes uh, about these meetings with chief constables. Uh, one recommendation is uh, the police will wear shirt sleeve order, uh, lightweight shoes, uh, no helmets, uh, no tasers, no truncheons, no nothing at all, when they're in potential confrontation with travellers or ethnic minorities. Uh, this lightweight uh, business uh, will mean that you can run away. Uh, you can run away very quickly indeed uh, and avoid danger to yourself and everyone else. Uh, this is called the Leeds Protocol. This is the Leeds Protocol. If you are a policeman and you are assaulted, uh, by a member of uh, an ethnic minority or illegal immigrant or whatever it is, and you are getting a good shoeing, you roll up into a ball, lie on the ground, and hope to God that your assailant will actually run out of puff or pull a hamstring or something. Uh, uh, retaliation is simply not allowed under any circumstances. This is known as the Manchester Principle. If there's a demonstration going on, uh, and the uh, demonstrators are indigenous white population, then there is a different system. You need full battle dress, trenches at the high port, fully charged tasers, aggressive attitude, and pick people out at random and arrest them. This is known as the London Metropolitan Police System. And we've seen it all, unrolling on our screens, on social media. We know what's going on, don't we? We know there is two-tier police policing. We know this to be true. So there's no point in the London t uh, Times pretending it's a myth. We know we can see it. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Lord only knows what we're going to do about it, but that's the situation as it is. And if we had an independent media, the whole world would see what's going on. But of course, corporate media is bought and paid for by governments, whatever the governments of the day are. Uh, and I don't know what the recruiting system is for police these days. Presumably, the first uh, requirement for a modern-day policeman is to be a cowardly thug. How badly we've slipped down on what used to be the best police force in the world. Very disheartening. Make of it what you will. Uh, as most of you know, my work is very heavily independently research-based uh, and I get my information from all over the world. It would help if you press the subscribe button and the little bell next to it because the more subscribers I have, uh, the more likely it is that international uh, independent research institutes will share their material with me. It's most helpful and then of course I'll automatically share it with you. Uh, so, surprise, won't cost you anything. Uh, thank you very much.